Well, if we go at if we went 20 degrees right now, we'd be way outside. We got to go right further down the line anyway, right? I'd like to deviate to the uh, uh, south for uh, weather from 15 degrees. Or Sorry, left or right? Okay, we're just uh, coming up over some uh, forecasted uh, or into an area of forecasted uh, convective activity. Uh, there was a forecast for Carolina Beach, uh, which is uh, uh, right here is Carolina Beach, just on the coast. And uh, the, uh, the uh, convective activity is all in around here. And through here, you can see the green and the uh, yellow. Uh, we're currently deviating uh, to the west of our track. This is our track. We're over here, obviously, to the west, and we're going to make our way past uh, these thunderstorms. We've had some uh, PIREPs uh, from, uh, PIREP is a, uh, uh, a report from another pilot of the aircraft uh, advising us uh, of the uh, extent of the uh, activity. So with our radar, uh, we're going to just uh, slide our way through. We also uh, are fortunate this evening in that we have a full moon, which helps us as well. So uh, we're not just using uh, one uh, uh, resource, we're using all of them, uh, as well as, as I said, the PIREPs, the radar, the full moon, our visual uh, acuity, and uh, whatever else we can to try to ensure a uh, safe and smooth ride through this area. Air Canada 092, climb and maintain flight level 330. 330, Air Canada 092. Air Canada 090, contact Jacksonville Center 135.05. Uh, uh, we just requested a climb to flight level uh, 330 in the hopes that uh, we'll clear some of the uh, lower uh, thunderstorms. As you can see, uh, we've, uh, our computer tells us that we're, our maximum flight level this evening at this weight is now uh, almost 35,000. Uh, for efficiency, the computer is telling us we should fly at 31,000. Uh, but uh, due to this uh, weather, we've chosen to climb to 33,000 in an attempt, as I said, to uh, possibly top uh, some of the lower uh, clouds and uh, thunderstorms. Uh, the other information that we have here on the uh, uh, ADI is our wind direction. Uh, the wind is coming from 300 degrees uh, at uh, 58 knots. So the wind is going this way. Uh, and that's the other uh, uh, item that, or issue that one must consider uh, to try to stay upwind from uh, uh, some of this activity once again in the hopes of uh, uh, ensuring a smooth ride. Initially, we'd uh, thought about going through this uh, little opening here in the cloud, uh, but that's one thing uh, about uh, navigating uh, this sort of activity is that you have to remain flexible throughout. And, uh, uh, initially, uh, I was uh, considering going left, uh, going uh, well out over the water to go around the, uh, the eastern uh, portion of this uh, activity, and then uh, in a discussion with Craig, uh, we both decided that uh, uh, we would uh, slide around the west side. And so that's where you can see here what we're doing. The, uh, uh, initially, as I said, uh, we were going to go around the, uh, the eastern edge and then uh, through the center, and now we've decided to uh, skirt everything and uh, go around the uh, western edge of the activity. And this line shows us our line direct to our next spot, uh, which we will uh, head towards once we've cleared the western edge of the activity. I'm just going to turn a little further right now. As, uh, as we get closer as well, it, it can be difficult to judge the actual height of the, uh, of the clouds uh, from uh, distance. And that's why as you get closer, you have to make finer adjustments uh, to attempt to stay clear of the, of the tops.
as I said earlier, uh, what's really helping us out this evening is the fact that we do have a full moon and uh, we can get a really nice visual on uh, the uh, sea bees. Avoid that one right in front of us, sir. Oh, yeah. Dark night, you're going right through it. 